talking about blockers too, um, someone asked if Tri wanted to teach blocking, where would he start and how would he progress? Um, if I wanted to teach blocking, let, let's say I have a, a young partner who's really gifted and I, and I wanted to teach him how to play with me, I would start with footwork. I think nobody really thinks of it like that. For me, it's, it starts from the ground up, um, all the way to handwork, which I think is really important too. But anyone can really, if you get enough reps, blocking a ball, whether your coach is on a box or not, you get a feel for where you want your hands to make the ball go in the right direction, right? To block it. The problem is people can't put their body in the right spot so that their hands are able to shape mm -hmm. around the ball and create the right angles. Uh, and getting your body in the right spot has to do with your feet. I was watching footage today. I won't say any names, <clears throat> Trevor. Uh, <laughs> where the set's moving, the set's dying and He's staying in the same spot and then use you know diving with his hands it, it was one play but uh i i just think it it's very i wouldn't be able to block these big guys in the world tour if i didn't have footwork and when i when i'm playing these guys i'm em, ex, putting extra emphasis on my footwork because i can't reach i can't reach mm -hmm. far enough to play with these guys if i don't use my feet to, to reach those angles. So I would start with footwork and really it's a matter of putting your body in a place. Like if you're running fakes, you put your body in a place where you're visualizing, you know where you want to cross the net and where they're going to hit it, where you're putting your body as far away from that point as you can um, without being out of reach and then getting to that spot as quickly as you can. Um, but a lot of people don't want to go away Block, and then they just reach there and that's really easy to see as a defender so like to have that footwork to step away and not jump from that spot but take another step i call them micro steps like these six inch two inch four inch steps those are the ones that get you blocks to where if i don't take the step i'm reaching sideways and if i do i can shape it and penetrate and mm -hmm. actually get blocked uh, So I would start with footwork. I feel like you've mentioned that before, Trya, and a different question I asked. I think one of the most – it was I think it was a question about, like, the most important skill in volleyball, and I think you said blocking footwork. And so it's, it's cool that you mentioned it again because as you're a split blocker and you're still, you know, learning and, you know, growing and being a better blocker, I think it's cool that, you know, that is still something that you continue to preach and continue to work on and – think is super important and you don't realize like as a defender you don't realize like oh these micro steps like you know throw your hands up there and then you know in practice I go try and split block and I'm like nowhere near the ball because I don't know how to line it up right. so it is so important and like everyone should know even if you're a defender you never know when you're going to need to go up and block so I think it is important to learn that and know how to front and how to move and make moves because you can't make a move I can't run a four as a small blocker if I'm not set up in the right place. Like I love running fours on defense and blocking. I think it's, I, I love running plays like that. But when I'm a blocker and I run it, I feel like it's just so ineffective because I'm never lined up in the right spot. So yeah. I just think it's, you know, I, I agree with you that it is such an important thing that, you know, people wouldn't even realize is important. So yeah, yeah it, love it. it. It's so easy to feel like you're in no man's land blocking mm -hmm. oh, and defense to where you're just like, I don't feel like I can even cover 10% of the court right now. Like I'm just in yeah. no man's land. But then other times when your footwork's good and you, you feel like you can put your body anywhere you want, you can feel like you can take up 90% of the court. Yeah. But then, I mean, it happens to everyone. There's times where you're just like, I don't feel like I'm even blocking any of the court right now. I'm just like floating. Here. I don't know yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, so I think having that in your repertoire where, where you know that you can move your entire frame in different places and same thing on defense. So I'm learning defense. I'm trying to learn a lot about it. I've just been mm -hmm. focusing on that all off season. And if you ask me the number one thing, I would say it's balance, like having your center line 
as you move, making small adjustments and having your center line stay balanced, you know, not getting off access. And that all comes down to your yeah. feet. I'm changing the, the width of my feet um, on defense. I do all these squats I do, I do them with my blocking footwork and then I do them with my defensive footwork now. Which wow. is like yeah. work. But I want mm -hmm. the muscle memory of like, oh, I'm in defense, my, my feet just go right to the right spot. Um, so for me, that it's, it's footwork for everything, even setting. Like, good luck setting a ball that in transition if it's out here and you didn't get yep. there, right? Yeah. Your feet aren't there. So really, it just starts, that's just kind of everything.